There are moments in science when discovery feels like triumph, like the universe itself rewarding us with secrets we were bold enough to chase. And then there are moments that feel very different, moments when what we see unsettles us, when the data shakes our confidence and forces us to ask questions we are not ready to answer. That is exactly what just happened with Voyager 1, the most distant spacecraft ever built by humanity. More than 24 billion kilometers away, beyond the boundary of the solar system, Voyager 1 has just sent back an image that has left scientists at NASA speechless. This is not a glitch, not random noise, but a pattern, structured, deliberate, and terrifying in its implications. The photograph, blurred by distance yet carrying unmistakable anomalies, is so unlike anything Voyager has sent before that it has sparked panic behind closed doors. What did Voyager 1 capture out there in the darkness? Is it a natural cosmic phenomenon we have never encountered before? Or proof of something we were never meant to see? Voyager 1 began its journey in 1977, launched during a time when humanity had only just begun dreaming of exploring the stars. Its mission was simple, study Jupiter and Saturn, send back images of their moons and rings, and then continue forward into the void. No one truly expected it to last beyond a decade. Yet here we are, nearly five decades later, and Voyager is still alive, still transmitting across an unimaginable gulf of space. It has crossed the heliopause, the invisible boundary where the solar wind of our sun gives way to the raw chaos of interstellar space, and it continues into a region no human probe has ever ventured before. For years, its transmissions have fascinated scientists, providing precious data about cosmic rays, magnetic fields, and the density of the interstellar medium. But in 2024, something shifted. Alongside streams of valuable scientific data came anomalies, patterns of repetition, fragments of signals that seemed structured, as though the spacecraft were not just recording the universe, but encountering something embedded within it. Engineers initially dismissed this as a malfunction, but when an image file arrived unlike any other, those explanations crumbled. The picture was faint, distorted by the limitations of Voyager's aging camera systems, yet it carried features that should not be there. Instead of the black, featureless backdrop of interstellar space, the image showed oscillating bands of light and shadow, symmetrical curves, and repeating nodes that looked less like noise and more like architecture. It was as if Voyager had photographed a structure, something vast, geometric, and eerily ordered, suspended in the darkness where no stars should shine. The data analysis only deepened the unease. The frequency of the distortions aligned with harmonic ratios, mathematical constants that occur in music and in the architecture of human civilization. NASA tried to dismiss the picture as corrupted transmission, an error caused by Voyager's failing systems. But independent labs who accessed the raw data insisted that the image was authentic, its repeating geometries too precise to be accidental. If Voyager truly captured what the data suggests, then the craft has stumbled upon either a phenomenon of physics never before imagined, or a construct of intelligence beyond our comprehension. Behind official statements of anomalous data under review, the mood inside NASA turned from curiosity to alarm. Leaks from engineers revealed that the agency held multiple closed-door meetings to address what the image implied. If Voyager had indeed captured a structure, the implications were catastrophic for our understanding of the cosmos. How could such an object exist undetected at the edge of our solar system? How could something so massive and orderly evade every telescope on Earth, only to be revealed by a probe nearly half a century old? Worse still, the patterns in the image bore a resemblance to the strange data sequences already noted in Voyager's transmissions earlier in the year, signals some experts described as structured noise, code-like fragments embedded within natural readings. To many, the connection was undeniable. This was not coincidence. This was communication. And if it was communication, then Voyager 1 might not just be observing deep space. It might be interacting with something within it. The panic at NASA was not about a blurry picture. It was about the possibility that humanity had just received its first undeniable proof that we are not alone. The image has sparked one question that no one dares to voice publicly. Is Voyager 1 still under our control? The spacecraft was designed to be simple, a relic of 1970s technology with memory weaker than a modern calculator. 
Yet now, it seems to be transmitting data in rhythms and structures it should not be capable of generating. Could something have intercepted Voyager's systems? Could its instruments be hijacked, reprogrammed, or influenced by whatever phenomenon it has encountered? Some theorists argue that the probe has simply entered a region of space where physics itself behaves differently, creating illusions of patterns. But others whisper about a darker scenario, that Voyager has touched something alive, something aware, and it is now being used as a conduit. If this is true, then the image it sent is not just a picture, it is a message. A message meant for us, one that we may not yet have the language to understand. And that possibility, more than anything else, explains why NASA is no longer treating this as a malfunction. Voyager has crossed a threshold into the unknown, and what it brought back may change the course of human history forever. As analysts poured over the raw data from Voyager 1's transmission, something even more chilling came to light. The repeating curves and nodes captured in the image did not align randomly, but matched geometric principles deeply rooted in mathematics. Ratios of symmetry, harmonic divisions, and even sequences resembling the golden ratio appeared embedded in the structure. These were not the messy signatures of natural phenomena like nebulae or plasma clouds. This was order, precision, design. Some compared it to the crop circle phenomenon on Earth, patterns that defy chaos and suggest deliberate intent. Except this time the message came not from a field of wheat, but from the abyss of interstellar space. If nature could sculpt such perfection, it would require laws of physics we have yet to even theorize. If not, then Voyager had just captured a glimpse of technology so advanced it appears indistinguishable from nature itself. Within days of the image being transmitted, NASA's public communication on Voyager 1 grew strangely muted. Updates that had once been shared with enthusiasm stopped abruptly. The official Voyager mission page, which had celebrated every minor transmission for decades, released nothing but generic statements about data calibration. Scientists who had previously been open to media requests declined interviews. Leaks from within the agency suggested that multiple intelligence agencies had suddenly taken an interest, demanding classified briefings. The shift was unmistakable. What had been a triumph of science was now a matter of national security, and that silence only fueled suspicion. If the image was simply an error, why not prove it? If it was meaningless, why hide it? The refusal to share more only made one conclusion seem likely. The image carried something humanity was not ready to face. Among the scientific community, whispers began to grow louder. What if the structure Voyager captured was not a natural object at all, but evidence of contact? The thought was electrifying, but also terrifying. Voyager was launched with the golden record, a message from humanity containing greetings, sounds, and images from Earth, an invitation to any civilization that might find it. What if something had answered, not through radio signals, but through interception? The prospect that Voyager 1 could have stumbled into the presence of a machine or structure designed by another intelligence sent shivers through even the most skeptical minds. Theories ranged from an ancient alien artifact drifting unnoticed for eons, to an active outpost monitoring the galaxy, to something far beyond comprehension, an entity woven into the very fabric of space itself. Whatever the truth, the possibility of contact was no longer theoretical. It was staring us in the face, pixel by pixel, through a single haunting image. As humanity waited for further updates, a sense of dread settled over the scientific world. If Voyager 1 had indeed photographed a structure, then surely its next transmissions would reveal even more. Engineers held their breath as the craft continued to send its faint signals across the interstellar gulf, but what came next was even stranger. Buried in the static were sequences of data that appeared to repeat in cycles, binary-like streams that did not correspond to any known instrument output. Some dismissed it as noise caused by radiation damage, but cryptographers argued otherwise, noting that the repetition was too structured, too intentional. It looked like code. And if it was code, then it wasn't Voyager speaking anymore. It was whatever Voyager had encountered. The image had caused panic, but the data that followed suggested something worse. The photograph might have been just the introduction, the first line in a dialogue humanity was never prepared to have. 
Voyager 1 was never meant to be a messenger. It was built in the 1970s, carrying primitive instruments, a handful of cameras, and a golden record, a time capsule of humanity meant for a chance encounter. And yet, nearly 50 years later, that tiny spacecraft has become something far more terrifying. The image it sent back, with its geometric precision, its unnatural symmetry, and its inexplicable patterns, is not just a curiosity, it is a warning. NASA may hide behind cautious words, insisting that the data is still under review, but their silence speaks louder than any press release. The truth is that Voyager 1 has crossed a threshold, drifting into a region of space where something else exists, something vast, deliberate, and possibly alive. If the repeating signals and coded transmissions are real, then the probe has not just recorded the universe, it has been answered. And that answer is unlike anything humanity has ever faced before. What lies beyond the heliopause may not be the empty silence of interstellar space, but the presence of intelligence, waiting in the dark, watching, and now, responding. The panic inside NASA is not about a blurry image. It is about what comes next. Because if Voyager 1 has indeed made first contact, then the universe is no longer a mystery. It is a mirror, and for the first time in history, something on the other side is staring back. If you want to follow every update, every leak, and every revelation about what Voyager 1 has uncovered, like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications, because the next image it sends may not just cause panic at NASA, it may change the fate of humanity forever.